Hey everybody! Welcome to another episode of How to Pass the Math FSA, the fourth grade edition. What's up awesome fourth graders fourth or parents of fourth graders or teachers of fourth graders or tutors of fourth graders? I welcome you. Um, today we are going to be working on maths.4.g.1.1. This is lesson 26 and we're going to draw and identify geometric terms. Now, the same exact problems that I will be using, if you look in the description box below, there's a link. Click that link. It'll take you to the complete guide to passing the math FSA for fourth grade, which is an awesome resource. I promise you our school's using it. Our kids are going to blow this test out of the water. Um, and so use that. You can follow along with me. You just find the standard that I'm working on. And in addition to that, you get, for this one, you'd get 10 extra problems that don't make it to the video for you to practice a little bit more with the standard. So it's awesome. I challenge you to use it and I hope that I want to hear about it too. If you do decide to use it, let me know how it's working for you. Um, okay, so without further ado, let's get going and let me teach you. So example one, part A says that we need to draw an acute angle. Part B says we need to draw an obtuse angle. Well, that's easy. An acute angle is an angle that is less than a right angle. So I just need to draw an angle that looks kind of skinny. So here's one right, I'm gonna make it look kind of skinny. And there is my acute angle. Um, an obtuse angle is an angle that is greater than a right angle. It's open wide. So I'm going to draw here. I'm going to kind of make it I'll start with that guy. should be using a straight edge to help me. And then boom. Okay, the square corner. Here's my square corner measurer. Line it up with a ray. And look how it's open way wider than my ray. So that would be my acute angle, I mean my obtuse, obtuse angle. All right, example two, select all the attributes, those are the characteristics, that apply to each set of lines. So I've got here lines that are making and forming right angles. Here's a right angle, right angle, right angle, and right angle. And then here I have just two lines that are crossing over each other. So for this one, does this contain parallel lines, lines that never ever cross? No, they do cross and so do these, so we are not going to select that. Contains perpendicular lines. Perpendicular lines are lines that cross and form right angles. So yes, this one does, but right here we've got, we zoom in, let me actually remake it down here so I can kind of point it out. All right, so here, this would be acute, acute, obtuse, obtuse, no right angles there, so I'm not gonna select it. Contains acute angles. Well, we just said that over here we have acute, so I'm gonna go ahead and mark it. But in here, we only have right angles, lines that form um, a square. They make a square corner. So I'm not gonna select in there. And then finally contains obtuse angles. Again, we said for the perpendicular lines that they only contain right angles, but we do have two obtuse angles. So I am going to select that one. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Example three, which angle is acute? So we're looking for an angle that is less than a right angle. All right, so let's see if they measure up. I'm going to take my really expensive instrument to measure each angle. See if it is a right angle or smaller. I'm looking for acute, but I'm going to use this. Okay, you cannot find these in any stores. This is a special thing. You cannot find any other square corner. Oh wait, maybe you could use paper. Okay, so I'm going to take this. I'm going to line it up with the array. I pick you and look. It forms a perfect square corner. So, that means this is a right angle. I'm looking for acute. Eliminate! Let's try B. Line you up with this one. 
and I cannot see the other ray. That means you are a cute. But don't go thinking that you are cute. You are just a cute. Okay, see, si. pick a ray, any ray. And, oh, how do I do this? Okay, so I pick you and my square corner. I think I'm turning into a French person. <laughs> my square corner is right here. It is open nice and wide. Oh, nice and wide, you are obtuse. Not acute. Okay, line it up here. I can still see you. That means you are opened up nice and wide. That would mean that you are obtuse. D. So which angle is acute? This one B, but don't go getting a big head and thinking that you are cute. You are not. You are just acute. Wait, you're saying you're saying I can meet ob obtuse over here? Okay, all right, let me see. Whoa! Oh, hey everybody. My name is Sally. Um, and I am like a die-hard One Direction fan, except that Zane left, that's a bummer, but they have a new member and his name is Obtuse and I love Obtuse, the new member from One Direction because, because, because he opens his arms so wide to give his fans a hug. I just love it. So wait, Obtuse is here? Are you, I, I brought my autograph book. Let me see if I can find obtuse. Okay, oh, a figure is shown. Select all of the angles that are obtuse. I love obtuse, okay. Let me see which ones open really wide. All right, all right, are you obtuse? No, you're a cute. You're a cute. A cute like Harry. <laughs> but not obtuse. Obtuse opens his arms so wide to give his fans a hug. Oh my goodness. Okay. Ah, there's obtuse. I found him. Hey, can you sign my autograph? Thanks. All right. All right. There's more. He's over here now. Okay. Now he's at this corner. All right. Let me see. Yep. He's wider. Opens his real wide. Real wide to give his fans a hug. And look, there he is there too. So it's C and D. Oh my gosh. All three. They're I just can't believe it. I get, I get to meet obtuse. Oh my gosh, guys. I am so sorry that my sister, Sally, twin sister, that she found her way onto the set. She's crazy. She thinks that angles are members of One Direction. Are you serious? We were getting her some help. Don't worry. Don't worry. Okay. Example five. A figure is shown. Oh, it's a trapezoid. I know it is a trapezoid because there is one set of parallel lines and that classifies, and it's a quadrilateral. But that's not what it's asking me to do. The question is asking me to describe the types of angles that I see in the figure and explain your answer. So I see an angle here that is greater than a square corner. And I see angles here that are less than a square corner. So there, are two obtuse angles on top and two acute angles on the bottom. Okay, we, we better close up this problem and take it away before Sally comes back and is obsessed because there's two more obtuse angles for wide hugs. Motivational message time. Here's what I have to tell you today. You cannot hang out with negative people and expect to live a positive life. Positive, I mean, a positive life is the way to go, but there might be some people in your life, some friends maybe in your class that you're hanging on to, and they all just complain all the time. And it's, you might even catch yourself starting to complain, but you need to stop and be like, hey, it's not fun, man. I've even done that before. I've, I've hung out with people who are just negative all the time, and eventually I just had to cut ties with them. And um, 
head towards people that were positive and that challenged my thinking in a positive way. And I'm telling you, it's you gotta fight to lead a positive life. Not fight, but you've gotta you've gotta decide. I wanna I wanna live a positive life, and y'all are being negative. And who knows? Maybe if you tell them that, they will come over and be like, you know what? You know what? You're right. Let's stop being negative because that's not cool. Let's be positive. So do that. I'll catch you guys next time. And thanks for hanging out today. Bye.